The bridge is made of two parabolic steel arches, one forming the deck and the other supporting it. On each island are bearings with pins passing through them. These connect to the base of the arch and allow the bridge to rotate 40 degrees. Deep inside the concrete end supports is what we call a paddle, which drops down from these pin points, uh, drops down vertically from these point, pin points, and to which are attached a bank of hydraulic rams, uh, three either side. In order to open the bridge, these hydraulic rams extend very slowly and rotate the, the whole structure. The deck that you walk upon is, is held up via cables from the arch. The arch is made of steel and uh, the cables are in tension. And the most important thing when we tilt the deck is that the cables have to remain in tension so that it pulls the deck with it. It's a very carefully engineered piece to make sure that the deck and the arch stay in the same relationship to each other. So it's actually remaining in balance when it's tilted. The bridge is powered by hydraulic rams, which push. And when they push, they tilt the bridge. Three 55 kilowatt hydraulic pumps on each side of the structure help to create the tilting motion and are controlled by a sophisticated computer system to ensure that synchronization of the ram extension is precise within 10 millimeters between each side of the bridge. As the bridge tilts open, the center of mass moves across the pivot point and the loads within the cylinders change to accommodate the shift in weight. When fully open, the cables between arch and deck lie perfectly horizontal. To begin construction, they dredged the riverbed to prepare for piling. A dry area was needed to lay the foundations, so temporary watertight enclosures called cofferdams or caissons were used to keep out the surrounding water. Two concrete foundations were then built within them. It is a very complex shape. Watson Steel, who did a fantastic job of creating that vision. Because whilst on the outside is a very simple structure, inside these steel boxes is a whole array of stiffenings and framing which keep the whole bridge together. Successfully linking Newcastle to Gateshead, the bridge stands as an iconic symbol of modern engineering and design.